Stormy Daniels mm. tells all about her one night stand with Donald Trump. We've heard about it, they've talked about it, it's been the papers, they've been speculation. But finally, what, Brandon? She took the stand? Sure did. How'd that go? So um, it seems like they're trying to go out of their way to you know, publicly humiliate him. But uh, I don't know, this one's not really moving the needle for me personally. And uh, I don't think it's doing that for the mass um, majority of people either. Because you know, think, about, think about all the scandals that politicians have been involved in. And whenever they happen, they kind of just like they're a thing for a day or two, then they get brushed aside. But think about the amount of resources and effort and energy that's been put into like, looking at every little crevice of Trump's past and you know, bringing it on full blast. Mm -hmm. And imagine if they did that for the majority of politicians, what they would be finding. So, you know, the, the fact that she's just talking about some sex details, like he didn't do anything weird. You know, he didn't like do anything with anybody underage. He didn't well, do anything did, against somebody's uh, will. This one thing I've been yeah. reading down here, cheat on his wife, allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> so, <clears throat> nothing weird about that. <laughs> so, here's some of the details. Clinton. Story told a jury of her peers that they had consensual sex at a celebrity golf tournament in 2006. She, by the way, little little dates. He got married to Melania in January of 2005. The golf tournament tournament was in July of 2006. So, you know, a little over a year later. Mm -hmm. When was Baron Trump born? <clears throat> Anyone know? I don't. March of 2006. So this was three months mm -hmm. after Baron was born. Mm -hmm. Allegedly. Right. Very interesting. So married Melania in 2005, Barron was born in 2006. Allegedly, the Stormy Daniels situation took place July 2006. So here's what happened. She's on trial, she's on the stand, she's telling stories of what's going on. The judge is ordering her, stick to the questions. Shocking mm -hmm. that a porn star was being a little too graphic mm. with her testimony, very interesting. She detailed the encounter, mm. describing Trump in silk pajamas oh, while she was feeling quote unquote disoriented upon oh, seeing starstruck i don't know what's going on with that here are some of the quotes from the trial by the way you have the picture of the two of them together trump had comment this is her this is her <laughs> voice nat you know what matt you let, let's get a sexy voice here read these quotes go ahead read those quotes Play mr Stormy. trump go mr ahead. trump had to come <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. I said sexy voice. Uh, okay, let me try my soft yes, spoken. Go ahead. Oh. <laughs> Mr. Trump had to oh. come into the bedroom and was on the bed <laughs> and basically between myself and the ex. <laughs> That's sexy. Yeah. That's sexy. That's funny. Okay. He said it was a bit early. Maybe we could talk a little bit and get to know each other. Mm. I was trying to think about anything other than what was happening there. Sex? She described it as a brief. Trump told her it was great. Let's get together again, honey bunch. That's what Honey he bunch? told her. Yes. Continue. <laughs> and then it says, um, she said that he didn't use a condom and expressed no concern about Melan Melania finding out. He went to kiss me goodbye. I went to leave as fast as I could. Daniel said that her motivation was for coming forward was fear, not financial gain. Uh, during testimony, Trump reportedly cursed and shook his head, and the judge warned him against intimidation. Ooh, mm -hmm. because there's a gag order on <laughs> former President Trump. So um, I find it very interesting that the two key words here are hush and gag. Mm. Interesting. Shh. <sighs> hush money trial, I'm gag sorry. order. So here's my first question. I just wanna, we'll go around the panel here. How credible do you find Stormy Daniels? High credibility, low credibility, do you think this actually happened? Go ahead, Josie. Uh, she's proven herself time and time again to not be credible at all. Uh, there's two signed letters from her from 2018 saying that this never happened. Mm. And then the testimony this morning from her, her attorney that essentially said that she was extorting Trump. And we've seen her profit time and time again off of this, whether it was that uh, she solicits herself for reality shows or it's that, uh, that strip show tour she took across the country i think she was using his slogan mm -hmm. uh so you know with with her not being credible at all and then at the on top of that it's not a finance violation for a businessman to uh settle this nuisance claim and write it off as or i guess book it as a legal expense so do you think they actually met they probably met 
Well, I would assume they, met, they met at the... Question. Yeah. There's a picture with them, not AI. Yeah. Do you think that she ended up back in his hotel room? Um, I, I can't say. I, I don't okay. know if, I mean, I just don't think Do she's credible. Do you think credible. he cut her a check? Oh, yeah. He cut her a check. So but a lot of so times... A why lot of would time, he cut her a check? A lot of times when... When, Nothing ever happened in the hotel room. When things come forward like this, oh, yeah. it happens time and time again. We've seen it where rich people just write a check to make it go away. And that's oh, the God. reason why a lot of the time people leverage <clears throat> these allegations in the first place, mm -hmm. even when they're not substantiated, because they see it as an easy meal ticket, as an easy check. Yes. So, you know, I mean, that's not to discredit the people who actually go through those things, but oftentimes that can be the motivation for people. Okay. Because I, I have a checklist of, I think, likely that happened, pretty likely unlikely definitely unlikely that's where i'm at but i won't reveal that now i want to get it from you guys laura do you actually think she went back to his hotel room do you think they actually had sex so i don't think the man is a faithful man we've seen that in his past but what i do think he is and you're a trump fan yeah i'm, I'm again i'm not like super crazy maga but mm -hmm. over biden he's <laughs> the clear candidate Got so it. Um, uh, but, by the way, just this is not even politics right now. I, know. I'm I just want to state what you think actually happened. Th th Forget about voting. We'll get there in a second. That's what I was doing before cool, you made cool. it about MAGA. Okay. So I don't <laughs> think he is a faithful man because he obviously has had indiscretions in his past. Yep. So I'm not talking anything about his moral character. But what he is is smart. I don't think he would just do something so stupid. I agree to all your points that he would probably just pay this problem to go away. Mm -hmm. But what is really interesting is the that she said it's not it wasn't for finances that she came out it was for fear i just don't get what she would be afraid of and maybe i'm clueless naive ignorant but can you enlighten me on what she could possibly be afraid of by holding this information as a <clears throat> what fi, what other than financial would be the reason for saying this thing what could do you, you know scared what fomo of? is Mm -hmm. Yes, I do. FOMO, fear so, of missing so out. So that's the only thing? Is fear of missing, missing out, out on, on money. all the publicity yeah, yeah, okay. that comes okay, well, that's with not... basically going to trial the first actual trial of a president. Well, I don't yeah. think that's that was what you the... Would fear. I, okay, well, I thought there was like a legitimate fear that she could have been talking Look, to, but I do think obviously sure. it was completely financial, the way that she's been milking it for all that it's worth. Um, Laura, yeah. you're, a, you're a wife. I am. You're a mm -hmm. mother. You ready for this question? How would I feel? Put husband? yourself... In Melania's? in Melania's shoes. Oh no! <laughs> when this leaks, walk me through that. Oh, horrible. She okay. I think about I think about a lot. She goes through so much. Honestly, that woman does not get enough credit for being as graceful as she is through all of the allegations and all that. There's one side of it where she <clears throat> totally knew what she was signing up for because yep. he was all these things before they got married. So mm -hmm. she knew that. Um, but it definitely um, sucks to hear it. And then the timeline that you just laid out, like a few months after you have a kid, that, that could possibly go through your mind. Whether you want to believe it or you don't, ugh, all the doubts that it makes you feel and all the insecurity, it's, it's zero fun. Obviously, it tarnishes her name as well. And she's just such like a classy, beautiful woman. Like when the way she presents herself and all the smut just don't mm -hmm. align to me. And I hate that she has to be associated with this. Again, her own fault because it's a bed that, she made and now she's got to lay in it yeah, she knew this going in but um <clears throat> is she deserving i don't know but i do think it sucks for her and i, I feel bad that she has okay. to go through it all brandon you're a dude sure am when I I, so. that's right I <laughs> when i was walking you through this you kind of were like that's right get him true <laughs> um likelihood odd odds mm -hmm. that <clears throat> she ended up back in his hotel room in 2006 i'd say over 50 percent well, that's it, just 50. No, so I said over 50%, okay. definitely. So, yeah, I, I, I would, if I had to you know, pick one or the other, I'd say yes. Okay. Do you think he, she actually that they had sex up? with him? Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, I think they did. What are the odds of that? Hi, um, probably 75%. That, so it's only a little over well, 50. Well, no, if she went okay. into his hotel yeah, room, well, if she went into the first. hotel room, I mean, Got there's it. a 75% chance they hooked. What else were they going to be if doing in there? she went into his hotel room. That's yeah. what it's saying. Yeah. Done deal. Definitely. Okay. What's what else would they be doing? Playing checkers? Like, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Yahtzee. He, mm -hmm. was, um, he was modeling his silky pajamas. That's right. <laughs> I mean, um, what talking else? Business. What are the <laughs> odds that a check was cut for $130,000 for whatever reason? I mean, the hush I money? Think. Yes. Yeah, I'd, I'd say that that's um, probably likely, but I just think it's uh, hilarious that with 
all the things that they're trying to do, that's the best they can come up with that they're trying to pin him on. Is like, like he wrote a check for her to just be like, all right, shut up. Like, yeah, we, <laughs> we hooked up. Stop talking about it. You know, just make the headache go away. Because we've heard rich people say before, like, you know, that that's just like it, it's so much more convenient to be able to write a check and make the problem go mm-hmm. away and stuff, having to take the time to deal with it. So, mm-hmm. yeah, I think that happened. But I think it's hilarious. So that's the best they can come up with the millions of dollars of government resources they're spending on trying to get him on something. Does he get his money back now? <laughs> right? He should. Sure. I mean. To spend as much money as she even received, allegedly, Didn't he sue for her? our legal fees. D- Correct. And she, she got sued by him, too. Correct. Yeah, so she might end up yes. owing money now, which is <laughs> funny. But listen, mm. as, as Trump called her horse face, Stormy Daniels, <laughs> listen, what happens to porn stars after 4045? Tanks. Uh, you never yeah. hear from them yeah, again. No. Maybe they start doing guilt porn. Who knows? <laughs> but this woman would be irrelevant. So this is the best thing that would ever happen to her career. And honestly, one of the worst things that happened to Trump's career, ironically, not the worst thing no. that happened to Trump's career. Amy, I know when we were speaking earlier, like, why this? Why that? Why would they do this? I don't understand what's happening right now. What questions do you have? I mean, I, I should probably be a little bit more familiar with this case, but I'm really just not because I kind of look at it from the same perspective as Brandon. Like, for all of the money and resources that the opposition have against him, if they were to go through anybody else's life with a fine truth mm-hmm. comb, I'm sure they'd find way more dirt. So mm-hmm. I've kind of, I just haven't even really looked into it. I've kind of dismissed it as incredulous. Um, but my question would be, so if there is hush money, right? And apparently the issue, and correct me if I'm wrong, Brendan, but mm-hmm. wasn't it like taken from different campaign money and, and, and things of that nature? Mm-hmm. If he paid a check for like 130 grand, why didn't he just take it out of his own funds? And why was it only 100 grand? Mm-hmm. That's my question. Like if you really want her to shut up, mm-hmm. like why was it? <laughs> well, great questions. Let me give you my response. Do you want to weigh in on, on just general yeah. thoughts? No, go ahead. So here's where I'm at with this. Cause let's, let's, reverse this Mm -hmm. imagine that he never even hooked up with this woman and she never went back to his hotel room just imagine how salacious and scandalous and just straight up dirty that would be okay but you tell me you guys are all informed i haven't heard trump or his legal team saying they never met this wasn't a thing okay i've never heard that so i'm going on probabilities here Here's the probabilities and likelihood. Tear my argument apart. Did they meet? 100%. There was mm-hmm. a photo. Mm-hmm. Show yep. the photo. Did she go back to his hotel room? Um, she's a porn star. <laughs> yeah. He's on the road. He's Donald Trump. Highly likely she went back to his hotel room. Mm-hmm. Now, this is weird. I'm even talking about it. Melania was pregnant. He's not even, you know... Getting nooky. Is that a s- dirty move on his end? I'll let the ladies figure this out. <laughs> but he probably was like, well, Trump got to do Trump. That's <laughs> and terrible. it's fucked up. My president, though. But she married a billionaire, though. You she know? married a billionaire. She kind of knew what she was doing. Look, yeah. Wait, wait. Money does not equal degenerate. I mean, now, wait, again, you, Trump You're calling did Trump ha- a degenerate? No, no. But you know no, what you're signing up for said. to a degree. What he him. said is billionaire equals degenerate. What I'm saying is okay, Trump no. had his past, but it's not she married a billionaire. He's going to cheat. Yeah. That's no, not. But you have to have some degree of expectation of what you're no. you're marrying into on somebody who left a past wife. And that then part. Already, already I has money. agree. That, agreed. So that was my like point. You're shocked by it. No, you're agreed. Sure. That's that. But not billionaire equals degenerate. No, yeah. I would not no. say that. I, that. I honestly am a little bit more inclined to agree with Brandon, and this is where I do catch some heat for some of the more quote-unquote red pill views that I have. I think that the really the thing that bounds people to their moral and ethical standards is their religion. If somebody is religious, if they truly have a relationship with God and they're led by those values, I think that you can stay on the straight mm-hmm. and narrow. But otherwise, if, you're, if you don't truly have that to guide you and you have the option... That's the difference between a lot of these men who say I'd never cheat and the <laughs> ones who end up doing it is they have the option. Yeah. Not only in some light sense of the word, but there's probably women who are throwing themselves at him. You know, so yes. I think that but what I'm saying, too, is that you can be a Christian billionaire. As I'm saying, billionaire True. does not mean I'm going to marry you. Mm-hmm. And because you got a lot of money, I got to deal with all the cheating. I, there, I would agree with you, you on that. There yeah. are some ethical, some mm-hmm. are lots ethical, let me, let me wealthy men. Let me interject, Ms. Mm-hmm. Of all the issues that people have with Trump, mm-hmm. 
cheating on his wife mm -hmm. is not in anybody's top 10, mm -hmm. including yours. So as much as you're like, ah, you guys, they don't mm. have to cheat, he probably cheated on his wife. No, yeah. I don't love right? that he's not, yeah, it's probably on my top 10, that's not true. Yeah. But maybe in, maybe number nine or 10. Again, he's not my but top you're married candidate. married with kids? Mm -hmm. If you found out that your billionaire husband president cheated, you divorcing him? Yeah. You mad? What are you doing? Uh, yeah, I'd probably get a divorce. But Straight up, one time. I guess it would depend on the prenup. <laughs> it's cheaper to keep her young. <laughs> so if you, yeah. if you married uh, somebody who was a billionaire who had left their past wife to be with you, would you be more nervous about that situation rather than the, that not being the context of them just being a regular person? I think it would depend on why they cheated. I think that there's... So not there's even your reasons. billionaire president husband mm -hmm. gets a one-time pass? What's happening Harsh. here? Yeah, one time, though. One time? <laughs> it's not one time, though. Oh, you're you saying know it's not one time. It's one time is okay, pass. I feel like More when, than once when men okay. cheat, they cheat multiple times. Mm. It becomes like you get away with it once, you can do it again. Mm. You know, it's Interesting. just not I do a think good... Once a cheater. It's not, one, yeah, yeah, it's not a good habit to have. <laughs> it's, it's just not. Let me make it clear. Melania knew what she was getting into, yeah. but not because he was rich, because he was previously unfaithful. Yeah. So. Well, no, I'm saying expectation-wise. Well, she knew the Having resume. money also does have a factor. Okay. You yeah. have to, have well, to consider that. Well, here's the final question. All of this, bing, bing. Did he cheat? Maybe, probably, okay, for sure. All right, all right, liability, criminal, this. The big thing is, should he go to jail? <laughs> for cheat. That's what's potentially that's happening. Here, yeah. like all the so money. that's where we'll leave this one. Whoa, whoa, whoa. If you like that one, Click right here to watch the full SauceCast, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.